Hello guys, welcome to this brand new Game Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about pathfinding, basically, in Game Maker, more specifically for tower defense games. Because what happens is you want your you want your enemies to follow the path so they make it through the map and so that your player has something to shoot at or you know whatever your tower defense game is but to do that we're going to be using something called paths so if you don't know what paths are they're basically well if you, you kind of could have guessed it a preset path that we can set the objects to follow so let's start off by creating a sprite and we're going to call this sbr dirt and we're just going to make it a brown color which I already have set that is perfect brown just go in between red and yellow make it an orangey and make it really dark it gives you brown and we're going to go to objects and we're going to create an object and we're going to create obj derp and we're going to select the sprite to dirt and we're going to go to the room and we've got our room and this is going to be the main test level so we're going to assume that you're making like a fantasy game and you want a dirt path and some grass we're going to set the background to a greenish color perfect and we're just going to place dirt in the shape of a path huh just do something like this perfecto awesome so now that we've got our main room let's create a sprite and let's call this SPR enemy and let's edit it and we're going to make it 32 by 32 we're just gonna make this a red color because it's the enemy Arg. and let's make it an object so we can place it into the room and let's set the depth to minus one so it's on top of everything and we're just going to drag them right there actually we'll just do one perfect so the next thing to do is to actually make the path now this is actually quite simple we're going to right click on path like we were creating an object and hit create path and at the moment you can't actually see see where we're trying to put the path on so all you have to do is go up here to this top bar here you see and go to the very last button which is just like a white box and it's gonna ask you to select a room and once you select the room you want that room will pop up and you will be able to see the layout and now we can use this to design our path so we're gonna name this pth underscore enemy just cuz it's the path our enemy is gonna follow and we're going to take our mouse and we're just gonna click where we want the start point to be and as you can see it's it's added some coordinates here and that's that's where that point is that's where that's coordinates of that point and we're just going to click where we want it to go next and then where we want it to go again where we where we want it to go again and then again and again and what you'll notice is it's kind of connected all these lines which is good except we don't want this line that's kind of make making it a loop so we're going to uncheck this closed box and now we've just got a path that follows the dirt path we set and we want the enemy to follow this so let's hit check because this path is perfect and we're going to go into the enemy and we're going to hit add we're going to add a create event and we're going to drag in some code and for the code all we're going to say you guys ready for this it's going to get a bit complex Are you sure you can handle it ready path underscore start no that's not everything there's a bit more the path so this takes four four parameters you have what path it is so path enemy you have the speed so let's set the speed to four the end action we're just going to hit zero and the absolute do we want it to follow the path exactly yes we do set that to one which is equal to true so that's perfect that's just fine and dandy let's test this out Let's hit the play button and let's see if this works. And you can see that our enemy is following the path. Now you will notice that it is not following it exactly and that's only because we haven't centered it. But if we center it and now we play it, then now it's following it 
coordinate by coordinate. So there you go guys, that is the basics of pathfinding within, well not pathfinding, but following paths within Game Maker. Now what you might want to do is you might want to set this path here to actually extend out to here and then you just in the OBJ enemy you say when it's outside the room instance destroy and then that way the enemy will follow the path all the way till it exits the room and then when it exits the room it's going to destroy itself and then it destroys itself and then you set the players live uh, li lives to minus equal one or whatever you're planning on doing with it anyways guys i hope this tutorial helped you and it was a bit of a short one but it was effective so i will talk to you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching